Crystal Story segment tonight, the far left's making a big deal out of the Tea Party movement being almost all white, implying it's a racist situation. Joining us now for St. Louis, Kevin Jackson, Tea Party member and the author of the book, The Big Black Lie. So, Mr. Jackson, how long have you been associated with the Tea Party and why did you get involved? I emceed the first Tea Party in St. Louis uh, on April 15th, the Tax Day Tea Party of last year. And for a lot of the reasons that other Tea Party people got involved, the tired of runaway government and... You know, it seems like the government's uh, gone wild. So uh, I decided I'd get involved and have, have appeared at approximately 80 since then, headlining most of them, and just found these people to be the salt of the earth. Now, are you a conservative man? I am indeed conservative. Okay. So the, your conservative principles of smaller government, less government intrusion led you to the Tea Party. Why don't we see Absolutely. more African Americans at the rallies? Well, there are more, but, you know, black people in general do not, uh, go, uh, we're not really politically charged. I think Obama uh, was able to bring a, a little bit more of that out, but we're not rally types to begin with. Well, but we see 20,000 show up for Farrakhan in Chicago. Well, with Farrakhan, it's, it's probably a different dynamic, but I think as, as a rule, we're not really the type to go out and rally for things such as this, even though in many cases we believe a lot of the same principles. I mean, when you look at things like the, uh, the, uh, 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 Department of Energy, who's got 16,000 employees, was supposed to be set up in 1977 to lessen our dependence on foreign oil. Half a trillion dollars later, we're no less dependent on foreign oil. I mean, people want to see where their money's being spent, and, and that's blacks as well. Okay. Now, uh, obviously, you know the controversy. There have been a number of commentators that have called the Tea Party people racist, uh, branded them, you know, a white power organization or whatever you want to call it. So you hear that, and you say what? I say it's completely bogus. Uh, there's been zero inc racial incidents at a Tea Party with me, and as I said, I've been to dozens. I'll be speaking at a, with the Tea Party Express at a few here uh, coming up, and I'll be headlining a couple of Tea Parties in Houston. And I can tell you, I'm looking forward to going. And, and I look at it as the left is just trying to de demonize a movement that, quite frankly, I consider the re-emancipation of America. I call it Emancipation II. This time, everybody gets freed. Now, do they pay you to go to these rallies? you get paid by the Tea Party? They, more recently, I've, I've, I'm getting paid because I've, obviously I've, I've sort of cut my teeth on them. But at the beginning, the majority of the Tea Party rallies, I was not getting paid. All right. Now, so they hire a bunch of speakers. We know Sarah Palin and Glenn Beck and, uh, you know, big names like that have come in. And um, so a cynic might say, hey, uh, they bought Mr. Jackson. I'm not saying that because I think you're a sincere man. I wouldn't put you on the air. But you know the charges that are, that are being thrown around here. The, it, the Tea Party, for whatever reason has angered, angered the far left in this country more than anything that I've recently seen except for Fox News Channel. I think we're probably the only ones that anger them more. And, and uh, so there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff flying around. Well, the reason for the anger is, like I said, you, you've got the, the Congressional Black Caucus, who's now the new hitman for the Democrat Party, who says that the Tea Party is racist, yet I would defy you to find any of them that have ever been to a Tea Party. You've got no, but John they Lewis say that they got, they got assaulted verbally when they, when they uh, came into the Capitol for the health care vote. That, that, that really lit the fuse on this latest thing. Well, it's, real, it's interesting to me that the symbol, symbology of, of, of what happened where you've got this very wealthy white lady leading a group of black you know, men uh, in, up to the, the, the thing with her, a gavel in her hand. Uh, it would have been more symbolic had she had a whip. And as far as John Lewis's uh, credibility is concerned, this is a man that said to, about McCain on October 11th of 2008 that McCain was the equivalent of a racist Democrat governor, George Wallace, who would keep blacks out of, 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 of school. So I, I find a lot of the comments and things very disingenuous and very one-sided with respect to what they're trying to accomplish by demonizing the Tea Party movement. But it, and, and in the, the same sense, they're scaring black people off of something that none of them have ever been to. These guys have not been to tea parties, yet they're willing to say tea parties are racist. Well, how about you come to one? All right, Mr. Jackson, we appreciate it very much. Thank you. Directly ahead, perhaps.